So today we are gonna get into a little bit of the nitty gritty. I feel like I wanted to touch on a topic that I feel is very necessary, very important. I wanna bring my opinion, my perspective to the platform right now, as I always do. But some of you may disagree with this, some of you may not. Some of you may be completely in alignment with me. That's what I love about expressing oneself, and I always encourage others to express yourself. Because the more you express yourself, the more you will find people that vibrate on your same frequency you create a tribe you create community and whatnot we all do not have to agree with one another we can disagree wholeheartedly with each other but at the end of the day when we express oneself we nourish ourselves. and today i wanted to talk about lust and love and if i think there's a balance to the two and if lust can be used in a way for our highest version of ourselves and i think the answer to that in short is no, <laughs> I don't. I think lust is a very, I think lust is detrimental to the spirit. And we're going to dive into this and I'm going to explain why. Now, everybody lusts, right? Everyone's been in a lustful mindset, um, allowed lust to carry them into an activity into an environment and i think we can all agree that less doesn't fill our cups love does though right love truly fills our cup up when two loving people come together and they have genuine respect for one another love for one another their cups are overflowing they pour into each other and now they embody even more love with one another and they leave with their cups filled overflowing in good spirits now lust is an energy where i think lust is very self-serving lust is all about me right it's all about what i need what i want in this moment to fill whatever desire or void or hole that i am feeling within myself right when we are very lustful when we are lusting over someone over something it means that we want to fill ourselves up now i believe we want to actually fill ourselves up with love but lust is a cheap quick fast way to fill our cup up but the problem with lust is it's a lie we never fill our cup up with lust it actually has a hole at the bottom of that cup and we will always be pouring into a bottomless pit now i know a lot of people will say well isn't like two people coming together a beautiful thing and yes it is Two bodies, two spirits coming together is a beautiful thing. Connection. And I'm not saying like two people have to be married and known each other for their, their whole lives to be able to have that union. But there should be a basis of love there, right? Your intentions should be love. You should care about that person, mind, body, and spirit. The thing about lust is lust doesn't care about mind, body, and spirit. Lust just cares about themselves and the pleasure they are seeking. Even if you're in a lustful manner and you're thinking of, wanting to do something for somebody else to somebody else right i don't want to say certain words here i don't want to get demonetized but you're still doing it out of your own ego for your own gratification right like a lot of men sometimes speaking in heterosexual relationships a lot of men will engage with women and will want to make the woman feel good not necessarily for themselves to be to boost our own ego so they can say to their boys i did that right love isn't about that Love is about true connection, true union, two people coming together to share something special, their unique selves coming together in unity. But lust, lust will take, lust wants something for itself and doesn't care about the other person. It cares about the moment. It cares about the, the pleasure. It cares about just seeking to fill the desire. Now, the thing is, lust is a slippery slope, and that's why I say you have to stop it in its tracks. I don't believe there is a place for lust. I believe it is detrimental to the spirit. Although we will experience it for the rest of our life, we don't have to feed into it. We don't have to express it, right? I'm not saying suppress it, but we can move through it and get to the love or ask ourselves in a situation, is there love here? Am I going after this person? Am I engaging with this person out of good intentions, out of love? Or is it purely lust? Because when we lust, what do we do? We're getting serious today. We, uh, Because I think lust is very detrimental. And I think if we want to have 
a good essence, a good spirit that could be felt, right? Not just seen. It's very important that we move with love in everything that we do. We will fall short because we're humans, right? And we have limits, but we fall short, we learn, and we continue to rise up, right? Now, lust objectifies people. The problem with lust is lust, you will look at someone and now objectify them in the sense you will picture doing something with them to them whatever it may be and without their consent as well and in that moment what you are doing is you are basically saying they are an object disregarding that they are a whole human being who has feelings who has a mind body and spirit you are looking at them as an object for your own pleasure so it's as if you think you are some type of master and you can look at other human beings for your pleasure meaning they must be beneath you right nobody's here for your pleasure we are here to experience one another now i speaking from a man's perspective you know every you know young man grows up and you know we start to engage in adult content and that's a very slippery slope and everybody knows the detrimental effects of that i highly recommend you avoid that at all costs you learn to not need that for yourself and you find other ways to nourish yourself because that simply just depletes yourself you know i removed that from my life a long time ago now sometimes people will, will remove that adult content but they will still produce that adult content in their mind with people they know or kind of know or don't know to me that is still wrong right to if you're now if it's like your partner if it's like your you know person you're with it's a little bit different but if you are by yourself right in your mind lusting over someone producing images producing activities within your mind they have no idea about it you're not on a level with that person like that you would never even tell them what's going on in your mind if you do these things this is the same as objectifying somebody, right? This is the same as looking at them and saying, you are for my pleasure. And the more we do that, I think that more that leaks into our spirit and then it manifests through our actions. And the next thing you know, we find ourselves in engagements that deplete us. We find ourselves having experiences because lust will trick you. The thing about lust is lust will completely trick you into thinking that what you are doing is for self-love, that what you are doing is to pleasure yourself because you deserve it, right? You deserve to be pleased. You deserve the pleasure. And we will completely disregard the fact that we don't care about this person right and that we just need this because we have needs mm. there's a there's a uh, a quote in the bible and i'm not going to be able to say it perfectly by yeshua by christ which says you know a man that you know stares at a woman like in a lustful manner this isn't word by word in a lustful manner has already committed adultery right and why would christ say that i think christ is saying that because christ knows now i love yeshua he knows that lust is a slippery slope once you produce the thought in your mind right what happens next now you're engaging with it right when you start to believe in something when you start to engage with something so much what happens it starts to manifest through your actions so as soon as you start the thought you are setting a direction to go in to commit that lust and the thing is what you are actually wanting to do is you are wanting to fill your cup you have a need for connection you have a desire for connection right but if you don't have that loving connection with somebody else already lust is the quickest way to get that and as human beings we love quick fixes amazon prime right we love things that are fast we live in a society now where we can have anything at our fingertips right you can go on instagram and scroll millions of people and engage with someone and have a little bit of a rendezvous right but this is very detrimental to the spirit right i believe love is the way to the kingdom of within to find that peace to discover that peace that comfort and everything within to have that essence of joy and i think lust deteriorates us from that space everybody knows like you i'm sure everybody has felt depleted after going down a lustful journey or road and engaging with someone that there was no love it was just lust and you still felt just as empty in the moment we may feel better right in the moment we may feel better but that delay effect after it's like a hangover right like you've ever hung out with somebody and like the next day you just didn't feel good or you had like a hangover from their presence 
lust is like that right lust doesn't nourish the soul and i think it has no place in our life we're going to experience it right for me like obviously me going celibate for many years is really great because i developed the tools within to identify myself when i'm going through lust and snip it in the butt and move my intentions to love right so i will still have lustful desires lust will still come into my mind right but i will stop it i will never go and just start to engage with a woman in my mind who doesn't know i'm doing that because i think that is just as bad as like porn right to like go in your mind and to do something with somebody who has no idea what you're doing and you probably would never tell them what you are doing right why because you would feel shameful you would feel guilty that's the feeling of love i mean lust <laughs> lust will make you feel guilty and shameful love won't love is the energy that like has to express itself lust is the energy that has to hide itself and manipulate and stay in the dark but love some people fall in love with their best friends and they can't hold it in anymore what happens they tell them they love them because love will naturally overflow and pour onto others and fill each other up that's the power of love but it all starts with identifying that trail right for me, removing lust is sometimes you may have to remove certain people in your life because you realize there's no love in that connection. It's only based on lust. You have like a type of chemistry with each other, but there isn't love in you. There isn't love there. You actually just want to use each other. And again, you, we all can do anything. We, I'm, not tell, I'm not here telling you not to do something. But what I am saying is if you want to have a spirit that feels good, if you want to have energy that feels good and living in your peace, living in your cool and your calm and just moving with the right intentions in life and feeling better, then move with love. You know what I'm saying? Move with love. Lust is a slippery slope and we live in a society that literally pushes us into it. That's why discipline is so important that's why having these honest conversations about it like lust and love these are important conversations that's why i'm having it today this isn't the most type of popular video i should be doing I, there's a million other videos i could be doing but i know this is a topic that a lot of us convince ourselves that it's okay because lust will trick you into thinking it's okay right it's a trick and in my life i experienced so much joy and compassion and honor and gratitude when i shifted myself away from lust and move with love and anytime i experience lust i still sh shift to love and if i have to stop talking to somebody because i realize there's no love there or start to nurture the love in and recreate some boundaries and let them know hey this is a loving connection right not a lustful connection because we're not here to use one another we're here to experience one another, share, give and receive love, not take anything, right? Not take anything because love wants to fill its own cup for its own desires. It's not sustainable, but love is sustainable, right? You just have to identify the fact that, hey, I am experiencing this lust and although I'm experiencing it, hey, what is it, what is it teaching me? and then move with love. So you're done knowing hindsight, everything gonna be all right. That is my thoughts on lust and love. I know some people think lust is all right. That's cool. This is my opinion. This is something that has truly helped me be in a better energy, a good energy, and I feel have respect for everybody around me. You understand? Of course, I am still very attracted to women. Walk down the street, see a woman, she's beautiful. Of course, you can be attracted to people, right? You can look at someone and be like, wow, they are beautiful. Look at them, everything, mind, body, and spirit, beautiful. But to objectify them, right? To produce images in your mind and to be in that state, right? To go there right away is a problem. If you look at someone and one of your first thoughts is like, now you're in bed with them in your mind, lust has a hold on you, right? You should be more interested in, hmm, wonder what that person is like wonder what their laughter is like. I wonder what their favorite music is, right? Love wants to get to know people, but lust wants to take from people. And I know we all want to be more loving, compassionate human beings. So let's choose love, <laughs> not lust. And again, you're done knowing hindsight. Everything going to be all right. It's a vibe thing. I love y'all. 
and I'm drinking lemongrass tea today. I know y'all like to know what kind of tea I'm usually drinking, but lemongrass tea for today. Whew. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you thought about the video. Truly what you thought about the video. Um, and if this is a topic you want to hear more about, again, I know it's not like the most popular topic, but you know, I love sitting down with the mic and just, you know, get into these topics that are important. I truly feel they are important, right? So, yeah. no, I'll see you next time.